In the mathematical field of representation theory, a weight of an algebra over a field F is an algebra homomorphism from A to F, or equivalently, a one-dimensional representation of A over F it is the algebra analog of a multiplicative character of a group. The importance of the concept, however, stems from its application to representations of Lie algebras and hence also to representations of algebraic and Lie groups. In this context, a weight of a representation is a generalization of the notion of an eigenvalue, and the corresponding eigenspace is called a weight space. <laughs> <laughs> Motivation and general concept Given a set S of matrices, each of which is diagonalizable, and any two of which commute, it is always possible to simultaneously diagonalize all of the elements of S equivalently. For any set S of mutually commuting semisimple linear transformations of a finite dimensional vector space V, there exists a basis of V consisting of simultaneous eigenvectors of all elements of S. Each of these common eigenvectors V element of V defines a linear functional on the subalgebra U of end v generated by the set of endomorphisms S. This function is defined as the map which associates to each element of U its eigenvalue on the eigenvector V. This map is also multiplicative, and sends the identity to 1, thus it is an algebra homomorphism from U to the base field. This «generalized eigenvalue» is a prototype for the notion of a weight. The notion is closely related to the idea of a multiplicative character in group theory, which is a homomorphism chi from a group G to the multiplicative group of a field F. Thus chi, G F times satisfies chi e equals 1 where E is the identity element of G and chi G H equals chi G chi H Display style chi g h equals chi g chi h for all g h in g indeed. If g acts on a vector space V over f, each simultaneous eigenspace for every element of g, if such exists, determines a multiplicative character on g, the eigenvalue on this common eigenspace of each element of the group. The notion of multiplicative character can be extended to any algebra over f by replacing chi g f times by a linear map chi a f with chi. A B equals chi a chi B display style chi ab equals chi a chi B for all a b in a if an algebra acts on a vector space V over f to any simultaneous eigenspace this corresponds an algebra homomorphism from a to f assigning to each element of a its eigenvalue. If A is a Lie algebra which is generally not an associative algebra, then instead of requiring multiplicativity of a character, one requires that it maps any Lie bracket to the corresponding commutator, but since F is commutative this simply means that this map must vanish on Lie brackets, chi a, b equals zero. A weight on a Lie algebra G over a field F is a linear map λ, G F with λ x, y equals zero for all x, y in G. Any weight on a Lie algebra G vanishes on the derived algebra G, G, and hence descends to a weight on the abelian Lie algebra G, G, G. Thus weights are primarily of interest for abelian Lie algebras, where they reduce to the simple notion of a generalized eigenvalue for space of commuting linear transformations. If G is a Lie group or an algebraic group, then a multiplicative character θ, G F times induces a weight chi equals d theta g f on its Lie algebra by differentiation. For Lie groups, this is differentiation at the identity element of G, and the algebraic group case is an abstraction using the notion of a derivation. Weights in the representation theory of semisimple Lie algebras G display style math frac G be a complex semisimple Lie algebra and H display style math frac H a Cartan subalgebra of G display style math frac G. In this section, we describe the concepts needed to formulate the theorem of the highest weight, classifying the finite dimensional representations of G. Display style math frac G. Notably, we will explain the notion of a dominant integral element, 
The representations themselves are described in the article linked to above. Topic: <laughs> Weight of a representation. Let V be a representation of a Lie algebra. G display style math frac G over C and let lambda a linear functional on H display style math frac H then the weight space of V with weight lambda is the subspace V lambda display style V underscore lambda given by V lambda equals V element of V H element of H H V equals lambda H V display style V underscore lambda equals V in V for all H in math frac H quad H C D O T V equals lambda H V a weight of the representation V is a linear functional lambda such that the corresponding weight space is non-zero. Non-zero elements of the weight space are called weight vectors. That is to say, a weight vector is a simultaneous eigenvector for the action of the elements of H with the corresponding eigenvalues given by lambda. If V is the direct sum of its weight spaces V equals lambda element of h v lambda display style v equals big o plus underscore lambda in math frac h caret asterisk v underscore lambda then it is called a weight module this corresponds to there being a common eigenbasis a basis of simultaneous eigenvectors for all the represented elements of the algebra ie to there being simultaneously diagonalizable matrices see diagonalizable matrix if g is group with lie algebra g display style math frac g every finite dimensional representation of g induces a representation of g display style math frac g a weight of the representation of g is then simply a weight of the associated representation of g display style math frac g there is a subtle distinction between weights of group representations and lie algebra representations which is that there is a different notion of integrality condition in the two cases see below the integrality condition is more restrictive in the group case, reflecting that not every representation of the Lie algebra comes from a representation of the group. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Action of the root vectors. If V is the adjoint representation of G, display style math frac G. The non-zero weights of V are called roots, the weight spaces are called root spaces, and weight vectors are called root vectors. Explicitly, a linear functional alpha display style alpha on H display style math frac H is called a root if alpha does not equal zero display style alpha neq zero and there exists a non-zero x display style x in g display style math frac g such that h x equals alpha h x display style h x equals alpha h x for all h display style h H display style math frac H. The collection of roots forms a root system. From the perspective of representation theory, the significance of the roots and root vectors is the following elementary but important result: If V is a representation of G display style math frac G, V is a weight vector with weight lambda display style lambda, and X is a root vector with root alpha display style alpha then h x v 
equals lambda plus alpha h x v display style h c d o t x c d o t v equals lambda plus alpha h x c d o t v for all h in h display style math frac h that is x v display style x c d o t v is either the zero vector or a weight vector with weight lambda plus alpha display style lambda plus alpha thus the action of x display style x maps the weight space with weight lambda display style lambda into the weight space with weight lambda plus alpha display style lambda plus alpha topic integral element let h 0 display style math frac h underscore 0 caret asterisk be the real subspace of h display style math frac h caret asterisk generated by the roots of g display style math frac g for computations, it is convenient to choose an inner product that is invariant under the Weyl group, that is, under reflections about the hyperplanes orthogonal to the roots. We may then use this inner product to identify h 0 with a subspace h 0 H display style math frac H. With this identification, the root associated to a root alpha display style alpha is given as H alpha equals two alpha 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 display style H underscore alpha equals two frac alpha langle alpha alpha wrangle. We now define two different notions of integrality for elements of H zero display style math frac H underscore zero. The motivation for these definitions is simple: the weights of finite dimensional representations of G display style math frac G satisfy the first integrality condition, while if G is a group with Lie algebra G. Display style math frac G. The weights of finite dimensional representations of G satisfy the second integrality condition. A element lambda element of H zero display style lambda in math frac H underscore zero is algebraically integral if lambda H alpha equals Two Lambda Alpha 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 Element of Z Display style Langle Lambda H underscore alpha Wrangle equals two Frac Langle Lambda Alpha Wrangle Langle Alpha Alpha Wrangle in Math BF Z for all roots Alpha Display style alpha The motivation for this condition is that the Karut H alpha display style H underscore alpha can be identified with the H element in a standard X Y H display style X Y H basis for an SL two C subalgebra of G. By elementary results for SL two C, the eigenvalues of H alpha display style H underscore alpha in any finite dimensional representation must be an integer we conclude that as stated above the weight of any finite dimensional representation of G display style math frac G is algebraically integral the fundamental weights Omega 1 
omega n display style omega underscore one l dots omega underscore n are defined by the property that they form a basis of h zero display style math frac h underscore zero dual to the set of Karuts associated to the simple roots. That is, the fundamental weights are defined by the condition two omega i alpha j alpha j alpha j equals delta i j display style 2 frac langle omega underscore i alpha underscore j wrangle langle alpha underscore j alpha underscore j wrangle equals delta underscore i j where alpha 1 alpha n display style alpha underscore 1 l dots alpha underscore n are the simple roots an element lambda display style lambda is then algebraically integral if and only if it is an integral combination of the fundamental weights the set of all g display style math frac g integral weights is a lattice in h 0 display style math frac h underscore 0 called weight lattice for g display style math frac g denoted by p g display style p math frac g the figure shows the example of the lie algebra sl 3 c whose root system is the a 2 display style or underscore 2 root system there are two simple roots gamma 1 display style gamma underscore 1 and gamma 2 display style gamma underscore 2 the first fundamental weight omega 1 display style omega underscore 1 should be orthogonal to gamma 2 display style gamma underscore 2 and should project orthogonally to half of gamma 1 display style gamma underscore 1 and similarly for omega 2 display style omega underscore 2 the weight lattice is then the triangular lattice Suppose now that the Lie algebra G display style math frac G is the Lie algebra of a Lie group G, then we say that lambda element of H zero display style lambda in math frac H underscore zero is analytically integral G integral if for each T in H display style math frac H such that exp t equals 1 element of g display style exp t equals 1 in g we have lambda t element of 2 pi i z Display style Langle Lambda T Wrangle in two Pi I Math BF Z. The reason for making this definition is that if a representation of G Display style Math frac G arises from a representation of G, then the weights of the representation will be G integral. For G semisimple, the set of all G integral weights is a sublattice P G P G Display style Math frac G if G is simply connected, then P G equals P G display style math frac G. If G is not simply connected, then the lattice P G is smaller than P G display style math frac G, and their quotient is isomorphic to the fundamental group of G. Topic: <laughs> Partial ordering on the space of weights. 
We now introduce a partial ordering on the set of weights, which will be used to formulate the theorem of the highest weight describing the representations of G. Recall that R is the set of roots. We now fix a set R plus display style R caret plus of positive roots. Consider two elements mu display style mu and lambda display style lambda of h 0 display style math frac h underscore 0 we are mainly interested in the case where mu display style mu and lambda display style lambda are integral but this assumption is not necessary to the definition we are about to introduce we then say that mu display style mu is higher than lambda display style lambda which we write as mu lambda display style mu succeq lambda if mu minus lambda display style mu lambda is expressible as a linear combination of positive roots with non-negative real coefficients this means roughly that higher means in the directions of the positive roots we equivalently say that lambda display style lambda is lower than mu display style mu which we write as lambda mu display style lambda presec mu it should be emphasized that display style presec is only a partial ordering it can easily happen that mu display style mu is neither higher nor lower than lambda display style lambda topic dominant weight an integral element lambda is dominant if lambda gamma 0 display style langle lambda gamma wrangle geq 0 for each positive root gamma equivalently lambda is dominant if it is a non negative integer combination of the fundamental weights in the a 2 display style or underscore 2 case the dominant integral elements live in a 60 degree sector the notion of being dominant is not the same as being higher than zero the set of all lambda not necessarily integral such that lambda gamma 0 display style langle lambda gamma wrangle geq 0 is known as the fundamental weyl chamber associated to the given set of positive roots topic theorem of the highest weight a weight lambda display style lambda of a representation v display style v of g display style math frac g is called a highest weight if every other weight of v display style v is lower than lambda display style lambda the theory classifying the finite dimensional irreducible representations of g display style math frac g is by means of a theorem of the highest weight the theorem says that one every irreducible finite dimensional representation has a highest weight two the highest weight is always a dominant algebraically integral element 3 two irreducible representations with the same highest weight are isomorphic and 4 every dominant algebraically integral element is the highest weight of an irreducible representation the last point is the most difficult one the representations may be constructed using verma modules topic <laughs> <laughs> highest weight module A representation, not necessarily finite dimensional, v of g, display style math frac g, 
is called highest weight module if it is generated by a weight vector v element of v that is annihilated by the action of all positive root spaces in g display style math frac g every irreducible g display style math frac g Module with a highest weight is necessarily a highest weight module, but in the infinite dimensional case, a highest weight module need not be irreducible. For each lambda element of h, display style lambda in math frac h caret asterisk, not necessarily dominant or integral, there exists a unique up to isomorphism simple highest weight g, display style math frac g module with highest weight lambda which is denoted l lambda but this module is infinite dimensional unless lambda is dominant integral it can be shown that each highest weight module with highest weight lambda is a quotient of the verma module m lambda this is just a restatement of universality property in the definition of a verma module every finite dimensional highest weight module is irreducible topic see also Classifying finite dimensional representations of Lie algebras Representation theory of a connected compact Lie group Highest weight category Root system Notes <laughs> <laughs>